Hey there, it's Steve from Serious Keto, and this is the summary video for May's 30-day challenge, which for me was get moving. Specifically, I was getting up early in the morning, usually between 5 and 5.30, and going out and initially was doing some sprints, and then would walk for about an hour. So it's sunrise on Saturday, or starting to be sunrise. It is May 21st and still only 50 degrees outside. It would be nice if we would get, I don't know, into the 60s or something. Anyhow, we'll see what we see for wildlife today. This month, it's it's been a little bit weird. First off, I had the issue with runner's hematuria, which I talked about earlier. That was that TMI thing in last week's update. So or two weeks ago, I guess, because I was sick this past week, which leads me to the other issue that I had, which is I was sick for a week, the final week of the month, so I didn't get in the full 30 days. So let's sort of address these one at a time. I had found that I had this issue from doing the sprints, which I'm not going to repeat because it's TMI. You can Google runner's hematuria if you want. And um, as a result, I kind of switched to just walking. And I think that I can give a big thumbs up both to the walking part of the Get Moving Challenge as well as the getting up early part. Some people have asked, do you need to get up early? No, I don't think so. But I find that getting up between 5 and 5.30 in the morning, just it's, it's a great way to accomplish a ton of stuff before the rest of my family is even out of bed. And it, it really, to me, is a very positive start on the day. So that's definitely going to stick. The, the getting up early, I'm going to continue to do that. I give that a big thumbs up. The walking also, I think, has been great. The running, questionable. I don't know that, especially at age 54, if that sort of pounding on my body is necessarily a good thing. I have now had a week off from running, actually over a week off, because I've been sick. And I may go out and try doing the sprint routine one more time. If I'm still suffering the issue with the runner's hematuria, then I'm probably going to sideline that. Definitely going to keep doing the getting up early and walking, though. In terms of biometrics, things kind of got screwed up by being sick as well. There was such a nice-looking trend line that was going on um, in terms of both body fat and muscle mass. And, you know, the net result is still pretty good. I think it's a 1.8% decrease in body fat and a 1.8% or very close to that increase in muscle mass. And also today, my weight is under 170 for the first time, I think, since at some point during COVID when uh, a number of us, or at least I, put on a few pounds. So that was kind of neat to see. One of the other things that I had mentioned, a challenge that I had thrown out to all of you a couple of weeks ago, was if you get out and you're going for a walk, you're getting moving, and you're doing it especially like early in the morning like me, do you see anything cool? And I saw, well, first, I was stretching. This was right before I got sick. I was, I was stretching outside of my garage, you know, stretching, you know, the quads, the hamstrings, all of that, and a mole almost ran across my foot. He, he went darting right in front of me and then crawled down in this crack between the, the driveway and the garage. And it reminded me of a joke. I told a joke a couple weeks ago. So here's another one that's family friendly. There's uh, some moles crawling up out of their tight little hole in the ground. And the first one peeks out and he sniffs the air and he says, I smell honey. The next mole scurries up from behind and pokes his head out. He sniffs the air and he says, I smell maple syrup. The third mole crawls up through the hole, sniffs the air, says, I smell molasses. Wait a sec, it'll come to you. Molasses. Additionally, in one of my last walks, uh, I came across a bunch of geese in this park that I walked by. And then I went down that one road that I talked about, that service road, uh, back road out in the middle of nowhere and I saw a ton of turkey and was actually able to walk fairly close to them. I thought we might just all walk peacefully together but eventually they scurried off to the side. 
So now it's your turn. If any of you saw anything especially cool on your morning walks, let me know down in the comments below. Also, I'd be curious to know if you were measuring anything like body fat or muscle mass or weight or anything like that. How did the month work out for you? As for June, I'm sort of torn on what I want to do exactly. And fortunately, I've got a couple of days to think about it before I do the kickoff video for that on Thursday. But a couple of days ago, I watched the movie Free Solo about the climber Alex Honnold. And it got me thinking, maybe, maybe doing something in terms of grip strength and, and forearm strength and just overall arm strength would be something I might be interested in doing. So I'm kind of knocking that around as my June challenge. Now that's not going to be something that I'm able to do uh, a lot in terms of biometric data on. I suppose I could, you know, measure my forearms and I can see how many reps I can do with grippers and, and things like that. But I don't know that that's going to be four weeks worth of episodes entertaining. That could just be a, a kickoff and then I, I loop back at the end of the month. The other thing that I really found that I've been kind of slacking on is the, the core exercises and planking. So I am going to get back into that. That's not specifically going to be my June challenge, but it is something that I need to start putting back onto my daily, I got to check the box on that sort of list. So I don't know. Let me know what your thoughts are. Do you think uh, strength training, does that feel like a good one? If so, let me know what your challenge is going to be for the month of June, and uh, we'll talk about it on Thursday. But that's going to be it for this. Thanks for watching.